Welcome back to my channel guys. Today on Mixing It Up with Gigi, I am going to be making Escovitch fish, Jamaican style. Okay, the ingredients we're gonna need for this are three, about three pounds of fish of your choice, one tablespoonful of lemon pepper, half teaspoonful garlic powder, one teaspoon, uh, tablespoonful garlic and herb, one tablespoonful onion powder, one tablespoonful coarsely chopped pimento, a half tablespoonful of oregano, one tablespoonful of black pepper, two sprigs of thyme, one onion, six cloves of garlic, one scotch bunny pepper or pepper of your choice, one bell pepper, one carrot sliced julienne style, one tablespoonful of brown sugar and coconut oil for frying so I started showing you how I prepare the fish and for some reason my phone was acting up so that video had to be deleted so I have two red snappers here and what I have done I've gone ahead put all my dry ingredients in a bowl I wash them with lemon and vinegar and then I core them so see how they, they've been cored then I just go ahead and sprinkle the seasoning all over them and set them in this bowl um, overnight so that part of the video again got messed up and so I have to start over but I just had to show you what I did from here I'm going to take it to the stove and I'm going to fry them so I'll show you what that looks like all right so I have my pot going and I put about two tablespoonfuls of coconut oil and I'm going to also add some avocado oil because I don't have enough coconut oil okay guys so I've added some avocado oil to the pot and now I'm just going to allow it to get nice and hot while that is happening and the way to test your water if it's hot is just to drop a drop of water in there and you see you saw that it, it's not hot yet because the water normally would kind of come back to you if it's hot so you see how it's what it's doing there it's acknowledging that i dropped the water in the pot so i'll just wait for it to get nice and hot and then i start the frying okay guys my oil is nice and hot and looky looky here don't come for me because you see me with my fish head okay I'm a West Indian girl. Yes, we do the fish head, honey. It's still the fish, okay? Don't come for me. There you go. There those beauties in the pot frying. I will go ahead and cover this so I don't get burned with this platter guard. And let them slowly fry. You don't want them to be burn you want them to fry real crispy so just turn it down to um, medium and let them take their own sweet time and fry okay while they're in the pot frying I normally like to slice some garlic I'll slice some garlic and just place it strategically in the pot and let that fragrance also be released in the fish um, and I'll also put one scotch bunny pepper in the frying in the oil okay so I have one scotch bunny pepper here and I'm just gonna cut a few pieces and also this is very hot so you might want to leave that out if you're if you don't want the heat but I'll just put like two pieces of the scotch bunny pepper in there and that releases some also releases some flavor Okay, the last thing I'm going to do, I have a very small onion here and I'm going to cut it in four kind of nice big chunks. And I'm also going to be setting those in there so they can fry and release some flavor in the fish. And that's why it's important to keep, keep the, um, the flame low. So now that everything is in there, let me tell you something. It's going to be good. All right, guys, I'm going in to do the first turning on the first side. And let me just remove the onion and stuff out the way. And this right here is a big boy fish. So, you know, it's... 
might take two things to turn it. Okay, here we go. That's the first side. There we go. And those will get a little bit darker than I wanted it, but that's okay. Just make sure you um, turn your stove down now to lower than it was. Alrighty. So I let that side go ahead and fry for maybe about 10 or so minutes. And then I'll come back and show you what's going on. Okay, guys. So the fish, um, they're finished frying. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead in this pot right here. Let me turn my camera. I'm going to go ahead and um, get all that um, onion and garlic and all of that that I had put in there earlier. And I'm just going to put them on a separate. Some of them can be added to my fish because they're still okay. They're not burnt. But the ones that are really burnt, you just need to take those out and throw them away. And we're going to now make the escovitch sauce. Okay, so I've gone ahead and um, taken out most of the oil that was in the pot. And just I just leave enough, just a little bit in there to saute my onions and peppers and um, carrots. Okay, so now... I have the, the carrots cut up already in julienne style and I'm going to put those in first because of course those take a longer time to cook so I'm going to saute those. Put the onions and stuff in there so I'll let those go ahead and saute. Alright now I'm going to go ahead and add my onions. And I cut my, slice my onions ring style because those look a lot more fancy when you are doing your presentation for your fish. I also have some carrot, um, sorry, some um, peppers, green, red, and yellow peppers. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Looky, 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 looky at that, man. Oh, yes. And of course, you can use as much as you want. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get some garlic and I'm going to turn the heat down. You don't want these babies to burn. You just want them to get tender. Okay, I'm slicing up like three heads of gar three, sorry, cloves of garlic in here. This one is too big. And you just want to do all of this until it's nice and tender. Then I'm going to also add a few coarsely um, coarse pimento berries. Okay, so I've added the pimento berries. What I did, I just pound it, pound them in this little thing. That I bought years ago on one of my cruises. I think I'm gonna to have to go home to Jamaica soon because looky 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 here. This is all the pimento I have left. So Corona better get out the way so I can go home to get some pimento berries, man. I went online to see if I could find pimento berries, and I did find them, but holy 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 holy, they're not here for me because they're too expensive. So that's not gonna work. All right, now I'm going to add about a tablespoonful or two of 
this vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and at this point you can increase your heat. And this is also going to go in with those and release a nice fragrance. You're just going to let it sit there and marinate in the juice. I'll tip maybe a tad bit of water, just a tad bit to dilute that. All right, guys, I'm also putting in the rest of my scotch bonnet pepper. And remember, this is very hot, so if this is not your thing, don't put it in. Leave it out. It's very hot. But fish without heat is not good to me, so I like a little heat in my fish, okay? Gonna gently massage a little bit of um, seasoning salt over this, just a tad bit because the fish is well seasoned. Seasoned, you don't want too much salt. Just a tad bit to flavor these, and they're done. Turn the heat off. Yes. Okay. So now, let me turn my camera so you all can see what I'm doing. Now I'm just going to submerge all of this over the fish and let it sit. Guys, 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 this right here is the deal. Yes, yes, looky, looky here, guys. This is Escovich fish. Let me remove this pot so I can get a good shot. There it is. And you want to cover that and let it sit. And it is actually best served the day after. It tastes a whole lot better. Everything tastes better the day after. But this is Escovich fish, Jamaican style, honey. It's a little spicy, so if you don't want the spice, leave it out. But this is it. Thank you guys for watching. 